<laughs> All right, so um, first off, you know, you got get, get guys lost a few guys this year. You guys also brought in a few guys. You know, in simple terms, what's the most different about this team compared to last year's team? Um, I think just the versatility and the depth that we have. Um, last year, we kind of played for a majority of our five stars for a good amount with uh, John Blackwell a little bit off the bench. But this year, I think we got a lot of guys that can play a lot of different positions, whether it's a guard that can play the one and two guard or um, someone who can play the three or four. Um, so just a lot of depth and a lot of versatility that um, I think is good for the team to have, a lot of depth. And now it's just figuring out how we all put it together. Now, you know, not a transfer portal, but Tyler Wall graduated, you know, first time in years that, you know, the team won't have him. As someone who's at, like, a similar position, you know, like, has has, has his departure kind of, like, changed your role, or has, has, has that changed, has, has that changed, like, the expectations for your role? Yeah, I mean, I think him leaving is just a leader that is left for sure, so just, um, that's one spot, I think, just being a fifth year that... Um, has increased um, for me of just being a leader and guys looking up to me of someone who's been here um, for four years now. Um, so I think that role's definitely increased. And then as far as playing, I mean, I think it's just the spot's a lot more open now. Um, obviously, Tyler was proven and a good player for us for four years, so uh, five years now. Uh, but he, so now it's just, I think, open and um, just figuring out who, who can play it the best and what matchups the best at the four. Um, I think it'll just be really interesting and it's a lot more open now, but uh, wherever it is, I think we've got definitely guys that can fill the role and um, hopefully try to uh, be just as good as last year. Because of the departure of some of those guys, you know, we've got younger guys who have to who probably have to take like a bigger step this year, you know. Yeah. Over from last season to now, who do you think has taken the biggest jump in terms of that improvement? Uh, I think Jack Janicki uh, stands out for sure. Um, coming in last year as a walk-on, uh, he kind of was just in the back, of, was on scout team, and he did all the little things right. Um, but this year I think he's taking a big jump and just believing in himself. Um, all the work he's put in, he's one of the hardest workers we have on this team. Um, so I think it's all paying off for him, and I think he's come a long way, especially just his three-point shot as well. Um, he, he's improved in all areas, and I think he's for sure the one who stands out the most. What do you think is most different about the team as a whole compared to last year's team? Um, I think just the depth and the amount of new guys that we have. Last year we kind of had Chucky, who's been here for three years, and we had Tyler, who's been here. and I mean, we still have Steve, but he's been there, and uh, Max from starting before. Now I think we just got a whole bunch of new guys. Um, and like I said, just first we're a lot more versatile, so I think just uh, really just we got a team that can really play a bunch of guys and play a lot of different positions. So um, every night it could be a little something different, whether uh, based on the matchups for the other team. So um, I think that's just the biggest difference that stands out right away is just the depth and versatility for sure. There's so many new players that I feel like guard. You, know, you guys can play a new style if you want to. You guys can be a little bit more versatile if you want to. How do you think? Is, is, is there a certain area that you guys think that you think will be that you guys will be a lot better at or more capable of this year, whether it's you know, shooting or like any specific area of the game that you guys think of that you, that you guys think exce exceptionally improving? Um, well, I think just our offensive efficiency. I think. Um, we had a good offense last year, I think. I forget what the stat was, but one of the highest offensive we had in the years. Um, and we were just implementing that kind of as the season got started. This year we've had the whole, whole off offseason uh, to really develop the skills to be successful in those positions in that offense. And I think the coaches have done an amazing job hiring guys to put us in the best positions. And um, I think that is one spot that stands out in particular, just um, how well our offense will flow and uh, just a lot of guys that can make a lot of plays. So um, I think that's, that's the biggest thing that stands out for sure. Now, asking players around, you know, about improvement, I've, I've heard Nolan Winter's name come up a lot. You know, you guys played a similar position. What have you seen from him early on? In terms of this career? Yeah, I mean, you want a seven-footer that is skilled. Um, I mean, he can do a lot of different things. Um, he's seven feet, obviously, so that helps him a ton. But, I mean, he can shoot it. He can put it on the floor a little bit. Um, on defense, he's a good rim protector. Um, and 
yeah, he's just he's put a lot of work in the weight room as well, just getting stronger, a little more physical. Um, so yeah, he, he stood out for sure as well. And um, I mean, he's someone who is ultra skilled, and especially at seven foot, I think it's just there's not many players like him. So I think he's a huge piece that we have on our team that many other teams don't have of a seven footer that's that versatile and that skill. Thank you, Carter.